What's up, guys? So I wanted to share my thoughts on this recent clip of Nick Castellanos talking about uh, kind of his his struggles so far this season, and he's starting to swing the bat better now. Um, and he just made a few comments and things that he shared that I, I kind of have a, a, some thoughts that I want to share with you. Let's take a look at the clip first. I just feel like my swings are more loose, you know, free. Not worried so much about like chasing or being so hard on myself, like trying to have a plan or whatnot. Just go up there with no thoughts and just swing, see ball, hit ball. My whole career, I've never had a plan. I've never looked for a pitch. I'm just, it's basically the game is glorified batting practice. And that's when I've always been at my best. And, you know, I think that I just really tried to be something that I wasn't in the beginning of the season and uh, myself a little bit, but I'm getting out. So what he mentions here is talking about, at first he, he starts off with it, that his swing is feeling loose and he's feeling better. He's starting to swing the bat. Uh, he's taking some, some pressure off of himself uh, by not trying to do too much. Uh, but one of the things that I think is interesting is that Nick Castellanos being like notoriously a kind of a, a streaky hot or cold kind of hitter, uh, that tends to go through, you know, you know, strikes out quite a bit. Um, he, he can be at times, you know, unstoppable. And then other times, um, you know, just ice cold and bad at bats, bad swings, lots of strikeouts. Um, and it kind of reminds me of myself. That's kind of how I was. I'm not saying I'm, I'm as good as Nick Castellanos or uh, a big leaguer or anything like that. That's besides the point. But just the, the type of hitter is the way, similar to how I was. Um, super streaky, friggin' just on unstoppable for a brief moment, and then could be ice cold the very next week. Um, and so part of that is, in my opinion, not having a plan. Um, and so it's interesting here that he mentions that he doesn't ever really have a plan. Um, and so just from my perspective as the mental hitting guy, like, dude, you're playing at the highest level in the world. The pitchers on the mound, they have a plan, but you don't have a plan. How can you be expect to be successful or at least consistent if you don't have a plan against the best pitchers in the world that also have plans, it doesn't really make any sense. Now, everybody is a little bit different in the things that work for them and their their approach um, and and kind of just their their whole thought process when they're up at the bat. He says a lot of good things here too. So, and by no means am I saying that he's wrong or anything. It, it's just an observation on my end that I realize that. Nick, you could probably do better if you understood the things that do work for you on a deeper level. If you were able to recognize the pieces of the puzzle that were working for you, well, then you can reconstruct that into your routine, into an approach that will help you minimize those cold times. Basically, you know, he mentions like not thinking about anything, see ball, hit ball. And that's fantastic. But that's usually what we, what is happening when we are dialed in and crushing the ball. When we are not dialed in and crushing the ball, it only makes sense, at least in my common sense brain, that we should have a plan that gets us back to that place. Right. So, for example, anybody that slumps, if you are slumping, I, it basically just means that you don't have a plan. You don't know what to do, what to think, how to adjust. And so now the only thing you can, the only conclusion you can come to is I'm in a slump and I don't know what to do. So, and, and then I mean, this is usually kind of how I explain it to players is like, so the one thing I can guarantee about a slump is that you will never stay or you won't always stay in a slump. It will change. You will start hitting. But, and then I'll ask, I was like, do, would you agree or do you think that having a plan, an effective plan approach, in other words, would that make you get there quicker or get out of that slump quicker? And I think that it's a no brainer, like absolutely 100%. Being in a slump or struggling and not having a plan, you are going to struggle longer. But when you are struggling and if you have a plan and a process that you know works for you, whether that's an approach, it's a pregame routine, 
it's a it's a morning routine it's a what you know in uh, on deck circle routine in the whole routine whatever it is can be unique to you but having that is by far like without a doubt 100% going to help you come out of your slump quicker so for nick Casalanos, I, it only makes sense that this is possibly one of the reasons why he is a very streaky hitter. There's no doubt in my mind, and the the, the proof is there in his stats and his career that he's had so far. He, this dude can hit. This dude can rake. But what happens when you break down? What happens when he all of a sudden is struggling? This is what's important, especially in the mental hitting and the things that I talk about with mental hitting. Um is that you got to know what's breaking down, why it's breaking down, and then what pieces of the puzzle do you need to put back together in order to get that complete picture, in order to be able to start hitting to your potential again. Maximize the highs, minimize the lows, hang out more so in the warm area um, is far better than being in the cold. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found this helpful, these are the types of things that I talk about in my free Mental Hitting Academy. The link is in the description below. Go down there, click, sign up. It's 100% free.